Countless champions have been crowned throughout the history of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! But what about the underdogs, the dark horses, the decks that upon first glance make you question everything you thought you knew about the game? In this series, both MBT and myself will be showcasing some of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s wackiest unsung heroes. Each episode will feature new decks, new strategies, and the results will be unpredictable. You've seen the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but this is the history of Jank. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Yeah! So this is a piece of garbage. If you're unfamiliar, in October of 2012, Konami released a baffling structure deck which featured this card front and center, Poseidra the Atlantean Dragon. Now, the structure itself had a lot of really interesting Atlantean cards that would later breathe life into the Mermail strategy, but Poseidra was not one of them. This cover card of the archetype can be summoned by tributing three level three or lower water monsters, and then it's specials from the hand or graveyard. Once it does so, you can return all spell and trap cards on the field to the hand, and if you do, and three or more cards are returned to the hand by this effect, all monsters your opponent currently controls lose 300 for each. This is a really sick payoff to a deck that doesn't exist, one that can consistently spam a ton of level three or lower monsters to their side of the field, and doesn't mind losing them all in order to summon what is in essence a Fang Wong. Poseidra the Atlantean Dragon is one of the most disappointing end bosses in the history of time, but one individual, Chaos Reaper 87, was able to get top eight in the Alice Wisconsin Regional in March of 2013 playing this. You might notice that this also features a card that has a literal 0% win rate on the history of jank, Sea Lancer. This budget option for Frog Monarch holdouts saw play far past the point when it was actually strong. But the crown jewel of this turd is slushy. Now, if you played Speed Duels, you might be familiar with slushy already. It featured very slightly in a short-lived combo deck, uh, but it is kind of the entire game plan of our list. When it's normal summoned, you're allowed to send a slushy from your deck to the graveyard, and then if you have three slushies in your graveyard or banished, you can banish this card from your graveyard to target a level five or higher sea serpent in the grave and special summon it. Now, this can get Sea Lancer. No, it can't. This card's a beast warrior. This can reborn Poseidra, uh, but once the Poseidra goes to the graveyard, it doesn't and there because Slushy is then able to do it again on a following turn. This potentially represents four Poseidra the Atlantean Dragons, and while a 2800 vanilla isn't particularly impressive, four 2800 vanillas is. As a result, we are aiming to get this card into the graveyard alongside Poseidra as quickly as possible. We're doing that by way of Swap Frog, which can send level two Aquas, including Slushy, and pairs very nicely with the other effect of Poseidra because it can potentially get three Ronin Toten on your side of the field, which can then be sent in order to summon the big boy himself. Because we're playing so many frogs, we are also on the Lancer staples of Poison Draw Frog, which could theoretically draw you cards if you ever land a Lancer. And because we are playing in 2013, we're also on Tour Guide and Sangam. Outside of that, it's pretty standard stuff. Creature Swaps, Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, Reborn, Triple MST, Double Bottomless, Double Compulse, Double Fiendish Chain, Double Mirror Force, and Double Torrential Tribute. Because, like Gabe Newell, players during this time were allergic to the number three. In the side, we've got Maxi, The End of Anubis, Soul Taker, Dust Tornado, Goes and Match, Mind Crush, One Needle Ceiling, and Two Solemn Warning. In the extra, we've got some pretty exciting twos. Digusto Phoenix hits very, very hard. Gachi Gachi Ken Tetsu protects very, very hard. Leviathan the Sea Dragon, Abyss Gaios, Leviathan Dragon, Acid Golem and Destruction, Dark Mist, Shining Elf, and Tyrias are all probably pipe dreams. And Wind Up Zen Mains is, of course, the best thing you could be making off of a tour guide from the underworld if you don't need the Sangen search to resolve. Let's pray that we can make Poseidra, but don't hurt yourself praying. Well, to no one's surprise, we are back in the jank tank, but looking at the deck we've got for this week, I think I like my chances. Now, this is another take on Constellar, and to be honest, Constellar was never necessarily like a bad deck, but at the time, when you look at everything else that was running around, it just wasn't able to keep up. This is an interesting take, though, because it's sort of like Pleiades Turbo, because this deck's just aiming to spit out rank fives every single turn, sometimes in multiples, and I actually kind of like the theory behind this, because Pleiades by itself 
itself is just such like a game warpingly powerful card once it hits the field. So just trying to get into it as fast as possible makes sense to me. So let's do the card by card. We have Bear just because we're playing Tanky, so that makes sense. But mainly we just want to care about the actual uh, other cards in this deck to facilitate our Pleiades. So we've got two Algeity, which can specially Constellar, which is any one of these. Primarily we're trying to go for cost. Can cost can make all of our Constellars either four or five. So we're going to do that most of the time with him. Pollux can just get another normal of uh, something like cost. So the, basically any combination of like these aside from Algeity and uh, Pollux is going to get us to Pleiades. Triple Veiler is good because it stops effects, but it's also a light for the next card, which is maybe the most important, Ghost Ship. It wouldn't be jank without a card like this. We played this, I think, in the Monster Mash deck in Jank like a few episodes ago. And this card's kind of cool. For this deck's purpose, it's a light level five and that's all you need for Pleiades. So as long as you have any other light in the graveyard, this is just a free extender to help you keep going. Honest, because we're playing a light deck and Tripper Solar Wind Jammer. We played this in a Karakuri deck, I think in History of Yu-Gi-Oh, not History of Jank. And again, it's a free level five light, which is all Pleiades needs. So we're playing a million ways to get fives onto the field and it doesn't stop at the spells. So next up, we have Dark Hole, Triple Tanky to get to our cost because it is a beast warrior for some reason heavy storm triple instant fusion yes we are on this to summon ojama knight of all things which is a light level five which facilitates pleiades monster reborn triple mst and a roto which can get us to something like our pollux and then for the traps triple decree because we're not messing around with traps triple safe zone which is a way to protect our pleiades because once we stick it if we can protect it then we should win a solemn judgment and a solemn warning the extra let's be honest if it's not pleiades or anything to summon pleiades it probably doesn't matter so we have a chimera tech for the siders in the side two Ojamanite, this is very relevant. Catastor's in here for some reason. We have Dweller, which we're probably never going to make. Same thing goes for Omega. Double Pleiades, probably should be playing three. A Conceller Ptolemy M7 to go over our Pleiades. Cowboy, Gaia Dragon, which I guess this is go over Pleiades, so this is fine too. Volcasaurus, this is a rank five that's not Pleiades, and we are playing a rank five turbo deck, so since this is generic, this is also allowable. We have Tiris for in the same light, and then we also have Starleash Paladynmo. It's one of like the good like niche light fours that actually exists in the rank four pool. And then for the side, Triple Banisher, this is also a light but it's also good just for anti-meta. Same goes for Dimensional Fisher. Three Consecrated Light for the dark matchups. Two Sidrus to go with the Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. Double DD Warrior Lady. We can search this and it's a light. And two Thunder King Ryo. I like that they just stuck with the light theme all throughout this deck, but I think we can actually see some pretty positive results depending on the way it goes, or we're just going to get bricked into oblivion. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's Constellar or Bust. It's time to duel. Joseph, I mean, I, I feel like I say this almost every episode now, but just when we think things couldn't get worse, I, the depths of hell you had to go through on the internet to find this deck exactly, I think depths is Depths of hell? What are you talking about? The Wisconsin Regional is a very important cultural landmark for Wisconsinites. Yeah, they had hell, to go exactly. To the, <laughs> they had to go to the nicest Applebee's in the city, and they had to play against four children who brought their cards in a bag held together with a rubber band, and they were able to top it with Poseidra Slushy. Hence how we got this alt art here. But yeah, um, interesting deck. You really could just top any with anything thing back then right doesn't this just give you fond memories of like the kansas regional as well the uh, regional lenexa yeah. yeah no i'm yeah. i'm a big advocate of midwest Yu-Gi-Oh. it's very good now michigan has some of the most the biggest power players in the universe and the regional no longer exists shouts out to johnny yen who would show up to the regional <laughs> in 2020 and win it with cosmos is really excellent tournament what do you mean 2020 he just won the regional i think or like topped the regional this year with spellbook when everything else is like i, I don't even want to get he, into he's it, built different though is the problem he, he johnny is built, is built completely differently but to be fair he's very entertaining we love him for it so oh. let, let's get into this shout out the patron rainbow guardian seven thank you for the support buddy you got the hand up i've got the hand up odd it's even! No! It's I'm two! I'm getting slushied! All right. Best of luck, sir. Yeah, best of luck to you too, idiot. I'm going first. Yes, you are. I feel like this is the first time in a while. That I've won a die roll? Yeah. That's true. That's true. All right, uh, let's draw our card. Yeah, you get to draw. <laughs> this deck is awful. <laughs> You were all off camera. You were like, this is the best deck. I can't believe no one played this. Now, that's, this is what I expected. All right. Uh, Thankfully, we're playing like real cards in my deck. Thank you. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> Again, a little perspective, folks. This is the middle of wind-up format. <laughs> yeah, for real. And they're playing this garbage. All right. We're getting costs. Uh, normal Algeity special. Jesus Christ. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Special costs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cost yeah, effect yeah. to change levels twice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, so now here, if I really wanted to, I could just 
freely uh, attack, but instead this is funnier, so I'm just going to do this. Uh, we'll just make Pleiades. Yep. I hope that's slushy, because I'm bouncing it. Okay, that's fine. 25. I'll take it. 20, oh, no, he's not a beast warrior. 25, yeah. And then I've got two back row. Slushy me, baby. I will normal Sangan. Sure. Creature swap! Fuck! That's actually a real card. Um, That's very bad. That is very, very bad. I guess I'll judgment. I don't want to lose no! this game. No! <laughs> uh, MST the unknown. Sure. Oh, dark hole. Um, effect bounce tanky to my hand. Oh, that is boy. I don't like hearing that. <laughs> Sangan, we're gonna grab Swap Frog, and this is pre errata Sangan, fools. All right. <laughs> <laughs> do <Okay>. it. <laughs> <laughs> I really actually do have combos. Uh, okay. Do it. Swap Frog. Sure. Uh, we're gonna send Ronin. Okay. This card's uh, actually still allowed. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, we're gonna send a um a dupe frog to the grave. Oh, you coward. Uh, we're gonna activate Swap Frog. We're gonna put it back in hand. Okay. Uh, we are going to banish dupe frog for Ronin. Sure. And we will pass our turn. Oh, excellent. All right, we'll draw. Yep. Uh, tanky. Uh, this is actually kind of sick. I gotta admit. It is, okay, it is so nuts, yeah. I'm gonna cost. Normal yep. cost, effect to go up a level. I'm going to special ghost ship oh, by banishing all oh, 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 oh. <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> no, it is not. No, it is. No. Hey, it's another Pleiades I wouldn't have been able to make otherwise. Just saying. I have other I have other rank fives that are probably just terrible. So probably not. What? I have fucking, no, we're just, we're making the dude. I don't care. So I could bounce Ronin, but then that's terrible because then you have swap frogs. So yeah, we'll just kill it. No. Okay, whatever. All right go stand by me oh my god that's the best drawn in my deck all right watch this swap frog pitch post sure. hydra fuck swap frog effect <laughs> send slushy uh, <laughs> yeah normal slushy <laughs> slushy sure send slushy so now we have all the slushies necessary to reanimate our Poseidra. There is just one tiny minuscule problem. <laughs> okay, what is that? Uh, Constellar Pleiades, <laughs> I would say, is the, is the problem here. Let's overlay these two for the rank two that will contest Pleiades. Does that currently exist? Uh, you're just going to have to trust me. Of course it does. I mean, you're, you're going to want to shotgun the Pleiades, I think, <laughs> on the Swap Frog. Let's make, here he is, Gachi Gachi Gantetsu. Okay. And then I will pass my turn. Excellent. Uh, in the end phase, I will bounce it back to your hand. Mm, okay, all right. Normal cost. Yeah. Make it five. You got I drew another ghost fucking ghost ship. <laughs> oh, great. Excellent. Uh, is this lethal? 37, 50. This is lethal if I just... No, come on. Thing. I had it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just lying. There's no way I had it. <laughs> How could that have happened? I'm just like shocked that I was able I'm to lose just, that one. I'm stunned. How did you not pull off the slushy combo? Yeah, my, my deck is pretty... Oh, we might pull it off here. Uh, We'll go Ronin for swap. Okay, so this is one slushy potentially. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Now, the problem is, and the liberals don't want you to know this, there's no way to get Poseidra into the graveyard. <laughs> You just you just gotta draw him is the problem. Let's send up uh... This deck isn't even playing foolish for that, really. No, no, why why oh would you need God. to? Uh <laughs> let's normal swap frog. I will send another Ronin. There's on... no way this hopped a region. I refuse to believe this. It'd be on Treeborn or something. I will put him back. Uh we'll we'll bring out a Ronin. I mean you you okay. ain't clearing this guy. You ain't never seen this before. Trapaholics. It, I did you go ahead. Okay, heavy. Do you actually have are you I thought to myself, I was like, I have to play as if he doesn't have heavy because we are just fucked otherwise. But uh, yeah, that's um, that's, a, that's all good. That's oh fine. fuck. Okay. Well, fortunately for you, I can't out Ronin. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, I was actually just praising this deck off camera. Like that first game, this deck looked real. I was summoning a Pleiades every turn. Yep. This game, however, I literally cannot beat a 2,000 defense fucking frog. So I have to set and pass. And Reality play. has set in. Uh, okay, let's go normal swap frog. Okay. Effect. You better. Um, I, yeah. I guess that's fine. Sure. Uh, let's send um poison draw frog. That's a card I don't want to draw. Uh, let's go. 
overlay these two for Digusto Phoenix. Uh, we're going to try and I guess we're going to try and get in for three. You know what I'm saying? I will negate in main phase. Okay. okay. I guess we'll try and get in for 15. You know what I'm saying? You will get in for 15. That All is right. Fine. Second main where well, you know we're bringing this boy back. Oh, yep. oh, he's coming back. All right. Go ahead. Uh, so now I can beat him because the, I needed a light in graveyard for exactly mm. ghost ship. So no, here we go. come on. Not ghost ship again. I will cost himself. Yeah, that's that's fine. Okay. Uh, let's make... Do we even have... You didn't even put swap back. You just no, made fucking Phoenix. No. All right. Uh, that was meant to be an attack. Battle. Kill this. Yep. I'll take a thousand. And I'm probably fine. Go. Hmm. I should not have put that swap frog there. Um, <laughs> go ahead. End phase. Bounce. Yeah. Draw. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's cool. Uh, you're on 7k? Can yeah. I kill you? I don't you better think not so. be able to. Uh, I think I'm 100 off. You're fucking with me! Very, very upsetting, actually. Uh, fuck it, I'll do it anyway. Pollux. Yes. Koss. Up the levels, if that's okay. Oh, that's fine. All right. Uh, Pleiades number... Actually, I... <laughs> Jeez. The ghost ship has no. just enough attack. You will fall to ghost ship, Joseph. It really, this is exact lethal. This is exact lethal. I have whole storm. I just, I just don't have anything to do because the rest of my hand is this dog shit. Where were my slushies? Oh my God. All right, we're done. We'll, we'll get it, we'll get it. We'll, we'll run this back, we'll run this back. We'll, we'll run it back, we'll run it back. Oh, that went well. That, yeah. that <laughs> my favorite part about this deck is that it's really good. Uh, wow. I mean, maybe if the slushies Top were the dittos, maybe if the slushies were dittos, we could have done it. I will tell you, this is the best looking hand we've gotten so far. Okay. Oh, okay. Cause it doesn't have slushies. That's, That's that is correct. You are, you are correct. All right. Back to you. Okay. Uh, we draw. need the Sangan to resolve Space here. Space in draw oh, phase. I need this shit. Come on. Okay. Uh, Pollux. Yeah. Cost. Oh, awesome. <laughs> really cool. Effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pleiades. Yes. Kill tour guide. That's fine. I'll take 15. Yeah, bounce Sangan. Yeah, that's fine. I don't need that. All right. Uh, go. Oh, I don't need that at all, you stupid fucking moron. Idiot. You imbecile. I normal summon <laughs> Slushy! <laughs> There he is. All it's right, slushy. Let's get him in the graveyard, you know? Sure. Yeah. You want to you wanna bounce this guy? I'll go to battle. Not oh, oh. No, I'm just kidding. We'll just we'll pass here. <laughs> okay. I guess draw? Yeah. Oh. All right. Well, that makes it easy. Are you just dead here? <laughs> Probably. I'm going to be honest Probably. with you. Probably. <laughs> Shit. I'm so close again. <laughs> uh, we are extremely close. I will normal cost. Yeah. Reborn cost. Yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, battle. Yes. Tack. Yes. 1825. You weren't close at all, dumbass! Uh, I have gores! Oh, shit. Woo! All right. That's fine. Uh, anyway, effect to bounce. Yeah, I'm, I'm still with you. Okay. Uh, second Pleiades. Uh, this token's what, 25? Yes. Uh, sure. Bounce that too. <laughs> Go. Going well. Uh, okay. Uh, Sangan. That's fine. Creature swap. Uh, that is actually pretty good. I guess I'll ch I don't have to give you the one with material, I guess. I can give you no. whichever one I want. No, you do not. Um, sure. Take the other one. That's fine. Okay. Uh, battle. Fine. Wow. Bounce? Yeah, you got it. Oh my god, this deck is so bad! This is. We all keep going. You all try. These are pretty. Game quick. four. We game four. Game four. I'm gonna win. One. Don't worry, I'm gonna win one. Keep going. Keep right, going. Here, here keep going. Go. Until the slushy resolves, we will literally be here all night. That's not. All right. Oh, fine by me. Oh, the, this, this is like the... royal magical library all over again. Yeah. You're, fine. You're boned, man. You would be a lot more boned if you didn't make exactly plea. You're fucking kidding me. <laughs> that is not the draw. Jeez. Okay, go, 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 Did go. I counterpick? I'll let you know right now. Actually, this hand is perfectly fine. I'll G it. Yeah. 
Costs. Uh, bottomless. That actually yeah! is pretty good. I okay, know. You got me. Uh, do I have follow-up? No, I don't. I just have to set and pass. You stopped. Okay. You stopped Pleiades, Joseph. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. Uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll flip some of Dupe Frog. Sure. Combat. Okay, take your 15. Yeah. That's fine. Dupe Frog. I'll grab Swap. All right. That is fine. A second main. Yep. Swap. Uh, we'll pitch fucking Poseidra. <laughs> Okay, it's in the graveyard. Uh, swap effect. It's fine. We'll mill slushy. Swap. Pitch slushy. Summon swap. Okay. Okay. Effect. Send Ronin. Sure. Swap. Okay. Effect. Pitch slushy. Summon swap. <laughs> swap. Effect. <laughs> and now, swap to hand. Slushy effect. All three slushies. Summon my Poseidra, the Atlantean dragon. Bounce your back row! <laughs> Wait, shit, what do I do now? Is that the whole fucking card? <laughs> it doesn't do anything! <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is the wor This is unreal. Okay, Just okay. remind yourself, this topped a region. This topped, this topped a region. We're going to bring back Ronan. Okay. <laughs> swap again, baby. Five swaps, one turn. Keep going. Right, keep sending slushy. Fuck it. Uh, we'll send poison draw. Sure. Swap to hand. Banish poison draw. Summon fucking Ronin Toten. Would you like to summon swap a sixth time this turn? I'm, I'm good. I think we're done. I think we are done with swap. Uh, Gachi Gachi Gontetsu. You know what? Sure. We actually have not normaled, so I will swap one board time. <laughs> uh, we'll send the other poison draw. We'll return the swap, and then we will pass the goddamn turn. That was a lot of effort, wasn't if it? you fucking make Pleiades. <laughs> no! It's even worse! <laughs> it's okay. I keep Ronin. It's cool. You do get <laughs> you do get to keep Gachi. Uh, what were you saying about making Pleiades? Oh, come on. <laughs> you will fall to the Ojama Knights! Would you like to target some zones? <laughs> uh, Sure, I'm going to target uh, exactly this zone in the middle and this one on the far left. Yeah, sure. But it doesn't matter oh, when I have the go second shit. best card in Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, go go shit. shit! Fucking Scooby-Doo over Just imagine here. this no in way. the anime. If Ojama Knight was riding the fucking ghost shit. Oh, man. If we don't get any fan art of this, then this series has flopped. Uh, you got this You are not going <laughs> to... Uh, yeah, I'll take 25 here. And then, uh, thank you for bouncing my back row. <laughs> Go ahead. Fool that you are. You don't realize the true power of slushy. I don't need okay. three cards in my graveyard. I need three in my graveyard or banished. I'll slushy again. It's Poseidra time. Sure. Get this shit it's back. Fun. Get him out of here. All right. Uh, fuck. I'm going to go to combat. And you're going to pass it. <laughs> Uh, well, I don't know if I have much of an option. Um, all right, Ojama Knight fell the Poseidra. Right, okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. Uh, second main, uh, Swap Frog pitching Poseidra. Pitch Poseidra. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting there. Uh, we got another Ronin in here, I think. Um, I love that Slushy's effect to summon is only once per turn. Yeah, they they can't. I mean, it would be a little too good, I think, otherwise. <laughs> Uh, we're going to go uh, swa or Poison Draw and Dupe. We'll get a couple of Ronins. I don't know. Sure. What am I... I think I want Gachi again. We'll go Gachi sure. one more time. And then um, we'll return Swap to hand. I'll Do we even have a good mill still? I'm just cheating at this point. Uh, we've got more swaps. Uh, we're going to normal swap. We're going to uh, send swap. Uh, we're going to return swap. Um, and then we are going to set one and we are going to pass. Excellent. I mean, you still have a slushy. I know. That can I'm bring aware. back the Poseidon. I don't think you're aware. I, I don't think you're prepared. I don't think I am either, honestly. I don't think I can take out the. Th Maybe this is how it won. Maybe the first two slushies you laugh at, but then the third slushy is when you underestimate. First, them. That's how first you they lose laugh, the game. then you activate slushy, then you win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take a I'll take a material off this guy. You got it. I literally can't do anything else about this. I will set two and pass. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. It's slushy time, baby. Slushy one more time. Summon that Poseidra. Sure. And guess what? Because we returned three cards, your monsters lose nine hundred attack. <laughs> okay, you want me to make you really upset? <laughs> don't you don't you I am going to chain safe zone to Poseidra. <laughs>
All right, I'm gonna. So uh, when you bounce safe zone. <laughs> okay, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna chain my set card. I'm gonna fucking MST that shit. Get that. Card, okay, get that, that is that is fine. Okay, that is fine. unfortunately, uh, you're you know monsters what's funnier? now. You know what's funnier? What? You know what's funnier? I'm gonna judgment your MST. <laughs> Okay, so what happens so here? So your beside drug is gone. It dies? It dies because when safe zone leaves the field, and this is in my hand actually because you didn't pop it. Uh, yeah, so when safe zone leaves the field, it destroys the monster it's on. That is annoying as shit. <laughs> All right, but what's even more annoying is that I drew the best card in my deck, and I mean a card that can get me back my Poseidra! No! <laughs> it's the fourth Poseidra you gotta worry about. In fact, it's actually the fourth one that makes the difference. Uh, I guess we're gonna summon Ronin Toad in here. We're gonna normal Swap Frog. We're gonna send a Swap Frog. Uh, and then we are gonna banish the Swap Frog for the Ronin Toten, and we can make Dark Mist. So, you know, that's cool. Does that do anything? That's cool. Have the attack of the opponent's monster in this deck card gains the same amount. You take 100, right? You go to 1350. We're gonna overlay Ronin and Ronin for Phoenix. Sure. We're gonna activate Phoenix targeting itself. We're gonna activate Swap Frog. <sighs> Doesn't really do what I want. Returning itself. We are gonna pitch Dupe Frog to special Swap Frog. I don't think we have targets left. I have no more frogs remaining. I will not be activating that effect. Uh, and then we'll summon Ronin. We will make another Digusto Phoenix. Uh, we'll go Digusto Phoenix target itself. It's a lot of damage, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. Uh, we'll go to combat. So my monsters are all gaining 200. So I'll attack for 3,000. Yeah, so uh, I'm dead here. So Bada bing! You laughed! I take, you laughed I, at Poseidra! I laughed. So I, I'm curious. Am I actually... If I didn't Judgment, I'd be at 8k. So I'd be at... Uh, 75 here. Oh, yeah. whoops. I'm curious, like, if this is still lethal, even if I didn't so judge this is, you. Uh, so, 34 a piece. Right, because they're 30, they're 17 17s. times 2. So, that's 68. And then this is and then, 7. It's exact. Oh, my God, it's exact <laughs> lethal. What the fuck? <laughs> this deck's crazy, dog. I told you this deck was crazy. I, I promise you Poseidra is playable. They sold a product with this as the cover card. Yep, they said, they spend did. your money on a product that gets you Poseidra. That is unbelievable to me. This was clearly why. Clearly, this player from the top four regional in Wisconsin knew oh that God. this was what the power of Poseidra. What was going on in Wisconsin that weekend? Was it the <laughs> annual cheese curd festival? Like, what yeah. on earth would prevent... You want to know something amazing? Slushy, the critical card in this deck, is not in the Poseidra structure. Why would it be? <laughs> because, Joseph, think. If they put Slushy in the Poseidra deck, you wouldn't buy other products That's to true. make this deck. That's true. There's no reason to ever buy another <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh card. They knew it was too powerful, so they had to keep Slushy and Poseidra away from one another. Yeah, uh, this this deck was ass. This was one of the one of the worst decks I've ever played. Still cements the Sea Lancer Frog 100% loss rate that we have going on Yu-Gi-Oh and Jank, I believe. Constellar, I mean, every time Constellar is played against me, I'm shocked at how playable it seems. I, this was a rogue option for the better part of like a year and a half, just because Pleiades I, is just crazy. This version of the deck, especially, like I was making Pleiades almost every Literally single goddamn every turn. turn. Yeah. Yeah, like, and typically, yeah, if you have, like, Pollux and Koss and whatever, like, you're going to do that anyway on turn one. But the problem is usually your follow-up, unless, like, this deck usually just plays a bunch of back row, which is typical of this deck. This deck's like, no, fuck that. We're going to play every five extender, like, Instant Fusion, Ghost Ship, fucking Solar Windjammer, which I didn't even draw in any of these games. We're just making Pleiades every single turn. And, like, Pleiades is just a house enough by itself that we could see why, obviously, against, you know, the, the threat of Wisconsin over here. But uh, even against, like, relevant decks from this time, that's, like, Pleiades is still an asshole. Like, even yep. by 2022 standards, yep. this card is annoying to uh, deal people with. People were playing this card um, as a way to get the uh, Eldritch traps into Eldritch. the graveyard. Um, yeah. And boy, oh boy, did I love making it. Like, there was nothing crazier than being like, okay, two Eldritch Traps, overlay for Pleiades, Pleiades your threat, attack Zeus. Like, it, just yep. an unbelievably powerful card, pretty much throughout Yu-Gi-Oh's history, and unsurprising that a deck that is able to wield it can beat even a tier zero meta threat like Slushy. I mean, true, shocking, uh, but but yeah, it does is the case. I'll... I'll give it to you. This final game, what is this, game four, game five? Game 12, I lost count. Yeah. This, yeah, this last game, though, I will hand it to you. This looked impressive. It if you cool. could replicate this every single game, that's different. Yeah, but maybe you should consider playing a fucking foolish bear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
So guys, that's gonna wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shadow 1317, Moto, Tim00x3, Cameron Smith, MBT Play Medulce, Chaotic Meatball, Part 2, Pony Starks, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Manhoban, I Ship MBT and Simo, Draconic Phoenix, The Immortal, Jordan Coons, Iron Bladesman, Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, David Liu, Dylan Hunter, Cody Bretz, John Two Based, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Zerius Business, MBT Caught Injecting His Fairy Lily, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Valen Jackson, Hornet, Aren't You Glad I Didn't Say Alpha Tribute, Ben 10, T DC Gaming, thanks for the sleeve stat. Matthew Brady, Max, Twinkle Muncher, Eater of Crayons, Luabon, Yodabon, Helios 515, Simo's Chaos Cooking Draft, MBT funding the Iris with his Rothschild Wealth, that's his Roth IRA, Simping for Simo, Stolfin Amethyst, Nicholas Carpenter, Simo's Harem of Sexy Yugi Tubers, LGM, BTQ, Nim Noodle, Malabranch of the Burning Tunnel, Stella and Zoe Vermillion, Wonder Waffle, James Keen, Skull Servant, and the Wandering Doomed are boyfriends. MBT cancel by all community soon, cancel by all committee soon, cancel by all players soon. Not reading cards makes the game interesting and you know it. The MBT and MBT Yu-Gi-Oh! stands for Morbin Time, The Undertaker vs. Simo and MBT, Dalton, Hunter Reed, Shrugs, IX, The Crystal Beast Enthusiast, ITF, Corvain, Dark Echo, TG Starman, Simus Engage, Viso the V, Wacky Waving, Arm Failing, Fable, Two Men Selling, Crudely Painted, Not So Funny, Plywood Cut Out, Folk Art, and HatFormat.com. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.